So today, YouTube, I'm showing y'all how to drive a automatic diesel box truck. 28 footer. Your death fluid going there. Your gasoline going there. I'm going to show you what death fluid is in a minute. It's basically just your exhaust fluid, but let me show you. All right. I'm in the truck. This is my death fluid. It says... Do not add to gasoline fuel tank. It goes right there in the death part. That's how I look. That's what you need to get. Okay. See this truck? I'm going to show you the gauges first. All right. That's the gas gauge. This is the death gauge. It shows if it's full or low. Mine's going to always show low because the gauge is broke right now. But I make sure it's full. These are air gauges. Tank one. Tank two. And I'm gonna show you how those work. Okay, so this is your the gear shifter right here. It's automatic, but see you don't have a park, you have reverse, neutral drive, four two one. So I just put it in neutral. This one particularly some have park, but this one don't. I just put it in neutral and I pull the parking brake, put it out towards me to apply it, push it in. To let it go because it only have air brakes this high run all right now let me show you i'm gonna crank it up see like i told you my uh death fluid I always gonna show low because the meter's broke but i just make sure it's full and these air tanks you're gonna hear it, like make a little sneeze or a little blow that's when you know it's ready it's gonna make like a noise the truck will make it as you see, the air gauges are climbing. They're right. So we're going to wait till we hear the noise. That's when you're going to know your air tanks are good and you're good to go. Hear that noise? That's was it. Okay. Now, you take the truck. You put your foot on the brake. And you push in. That means the brake is released right now. That noise is just, I don't have my seatbelt on. I always wear your seatbelt. I'm just giving you guys a demonstration. But I pushed it in, that just let it go. I pulled it out, that applied it. That applied my brake. When I push it in, the brake is off now, but my feet are still on the brake. And I just put it in drive and take off. Thank you guys, watch more videos on how to do things. See you.